Interior Cut 2011 introduces a completely new database of functional hardware. We've switched to 3D technology for hardware placement and at the same time we've stocked up on hundreds of new and recent items from the main suppliers. This is an example cabinet featuring a slanted corner. First we will switch to a mitered connection for the top right corner. This is easily done by clicking on the graphic in the dialog for the case. Next we'll generate the grid drilling. This is done by activating the grid drilling option on the drilling tab. As you can see the grid drilling is represented in 3D. This means you'll actually see the drillings in sections and technical drawings generated from the model as well as in ray traced images for client presentations. Now we'll add some connectors to the top left corner. In this graphic you can switch the housing to be on either the inside or the outside of the shelf that contains it. Choose any of the pre-installed supplies from the list. Note that objects marked with a star are stored as favourites and will always float to the top of the list. We can adjust the distance of the fittings so that they are aligned with the grid drilling. Negative values mean the distance is measured from the inside of the back panel. If the back moves in, for example, so will the fitting. To complete the construction, we'll add some dowels from the list on the dowel tab. Again, mark your frequently used dowels with a star for easy access. Now we'll set the connectors and dowels for the non-rectangular corner. Note that we can only select connectors which qualify for use in this situation. For example, no straight bolts are shown in the list. The next angled corner requires yet another type of bolt. The dialog again makes sure that only the right type of bolt is supplied in the list.